In this video, I want to talk about external references and why we would break them sometimes. So I've created a cavity in this part here, where this part interferes, and we can see that here. So right now, it shows me the external references are valid. And I want to demonstrate why we would break those external references. So first, I'm just going to open this part up in its current position. And I'm going to create a section view. And I'll rotate around a bit. So we want to pay attention to what happens to the location of this thread. I'm going to control tab back to my assembly. And next I'm going to expand this mate folder. And I'm going to suppress my temporary coincidence so I can use my screw mate. And I'm going to turn this a couple of revolutions. And I'll rebuild it. And when I control tab back to here, we can see this is moving. I'll rebuild it. And again, I'll control tab back. I'll turn this a few more times because every time I turn this, this feature will need to be rebuilt because it has an in-context reference to the current location of the threads. So I'll turn it again. I'll rebuild it. Control tab back here. Get my section view back. And again, we can see how these are shifting up with every turn. So I'll say OK. It's shifting up and eventually if I keep going these threads will come right out and I'll have an error because the SOLIDWORKS can no longer maintain that in-context reference. So I don't want that. To fix this I'm going to first turn it back up all the way to where it was. So I'm just going to keep rotating it until it's in position. And I'm going to unsuppress this mate. One more time, I'm going to control tab back to this part. We can see the threads are back down here where they should be. I would like this part to be able to move in the assembly and these threads not change position. And the reason I did the cavity command is so if the boss or the customer wants to see how these thread on and off, it looks good and the threads line up. But I don't want this cavity to keep moving. To prevent that, I'm going to break all external references in it. And this cannot be undone, but that's okay. I needed the references there to create it. Now I'm going to break them. To break them, I'm going to right click on the cavity and I'm going to select external references. So it'll show me all of them and I'm going to select break all. I'll say, okay, I'll close it. This still shows me it was created in context, but the X here says the references are broken. I'll shut the section view off. I'll rebuild, save this. I'm going to close it and I'll come back here. Again, I'll rebuild and save the assembly. And again, we can see the cavity has all its external references broken. But now when I unthread it, so we'll do it one more time. I'll suppress this. I can now turn that screw mate. And as I turn it down, I'll reopen this part in its current position. I'll look at the section view and these no longer move up and down with the part. So I'll close that and I'll continue on from there in the next video.